Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A bar of negligible weight is hinged to a wall at A and supported by a string as shown in the figure. If a vertical load W acts at B, find the tension in the string and the actual force in the bar. All right, so this is the entire arrangement in front of us. Let me explain you this arrangement. There is a bar AB, okay? So one end of the bar is hinged at point A onto this wall. Okay, so this is the wall. At the other end of the bar, that is at point B, a weight W is actually acting in the vertically downward direction. Now there is the string BC which tries to hold this bar AB into this position, maintaining some angle theta with the vertical. Okay, and this string, one end of the string in fact is attached at point C onto the wall. Now, in order to start the problem, let us first determine what we are supposed to calculate. So we have to get the value of tension all right and the axial force these are the two things that we are supposed to calculate just try to think about this guys when load will be applied in the downward direction let us say this is w load then there will be some tension developing over here let us say right now that the tension is t and at the same time the nature of this w force is such that it will try to pull the bar in the downward direction and when that sort of event happens this bar is gonna push this wall onto the left hand side Okay, in a, in a particular direction and in the same manner the wall is going to be reacting by applying a similar amount of force in this direction so let us see that this force has been represented by p okay all right now what i am going to be doing is i am going to be resolving all the forces that are acting in this entire arrangement so there is going to be a horizontal component for this p force so this is the basically the axial force okay and there is going to be one more vertical component for this P force. So, so this P force is acting throughout the axis of this bar AB, something of this sort. All right. Now, if you watch carefully, please see with the mouse is hovering. This is a line. All right. This is a line. And this is also a line. Okay. These two lines are intersecting at point A. And this is angle theta over here. Hence, this also is going to work out as angle theta. Now, if this is P, then this has got to be P cosine theta and this again will work out as p sine theta so we've got all the forces worked out what we're going to do now is solve okay so we need to get two values one is uh, tension t while the other one is the actual force that is p let me change the color of the pen all right this uh, entire arrangement is supposed to stay in equilibrium or for anything to stay in equilibrium we've got three equations of equilibrium summation of all the forces in x is equal to zero y is equal to zero and the moment of all those forces again should be equal to zero so what we're going to be doing is we'll apply this moment of all the forces okay about the hinge that is at a we're going to be making sure that all of them are going to be equal to zero so we're going to start off with this force w okay please watch this carefully so this is the line of action of w let me let me further extend this this way okay and this is the line of action of w and if you try to drop a perpendicular from point a it's going to be something like this all right something like this this is the perpendicular so this is the line of action of w and this is the perpendicular this point is a and let us say that this point is b so the moment of this force is going to be no no p let us say this is r okay the moment of this force w is going to be w multiplied by a r now just try to think about this guys keep your thumb over here right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger in this direction this downward direction you shall realize that this force is producing a clockwise moment and when you speak of clockwise moment you have to put a negative sign all right something like this negative sign now moving ahead we have this force t here all right now keep your thumb over here at a and your baby finger here and try to move your baby finger along this direction this force t is producing an anti-clockwise moment and that's why we're going to use a positive sign and this is the force t multiplied by the perpendicular distance so let me show that once again this is force t and from a we have to drop a perpendicular and that perpendicular is at c so a c is the perpendicular distance a c all right so the two forces which are remaining this is p sine theta and one more is p cos theta now since these two forces are passing through point a and point a is actually that point about which the moment is being taken hence their moment are going to be equal to zero all right remember that 
Now, the next thing is to equate all of them equal to zero. Okay. And the only thing is we need values of AR. We need value of AC. Now, let us say right now that we assume that AB is equal to X. Okay. Let us say that AB is equal to X. If this is X, then this AC is going to be equal to X cos theta. And this CB, CB is going to work out as X sine theta. You need to just put in all these values and then you're going to get the final answer. So negative of W into AR. So this AR you see, okay, this AR from A to R, okay, is equal to this C to B. All right, C to B. That means it is equal to X sine theta. X sine theta plus T times of AC. What is AC? This is AC. All right. This is AC. That means it is equal to X cos theta. X cos theta equals to zero. Just try to solve this equation. Um, T X cos theta is equal to W X sine theta. Okay. So X and X cancel out. Cos theta will shift over here. That means sine theta over cos theta and T shall work out as W tan theta. So the answer has been computed in terms of W. All right. So this is the tension developed in the string. Okay. So what's next? All right. So we're going to be using one more equation of equilibrium. Let's say this one summation of all the forces in X direction is equal to zero. So any force towards the right hand side shall be taken as positive and any force towards the left hand side shall be taken as negative. So let us look out for those forces in the X direction. So there is one such force, this one, okay, P sine theta, and there is one more force, this one, that is T. So P sine theta is acting in the right hand side direction and hence we are going to take it as positive, P sine theta. And whereas when you speak of this T, this is in the, this is directed towards the left hand side and hence has to be taken in the form of negative sign, minus T is equal to zero. So ultimately we are supposed to calculate this axial force P. So P will be equal to just do this simple math T over sine theta. You can also write this as um, T. The value of T is this much W tan theta. So in place of T, I'm going to write W tan theta all divided by sine theta. And let me let me write the value of tan theta tan theta we know very well is equal to sine theta over cos theta sine theta over cos theta and sine theta and sine theta both of them are going to cancel out so w into 1 over cos theta 1 over cos theta is sec theta so finally the answer works out as the axial force p is going to be equal to w sec theta okay all right so in order to work out the nature of this force axial force you just need to understand this w is acting in the downward direction that means this bar is going to apply some force onto this wall and in turn the wall also will react by applying a force p say okay that means this force p nature is such that it will try to shorten the length of the bar or it will try to compress the bar and hence the force develop is going to be compressive in nature compressive that's it that's it guys so guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.